So when school authorities tell a mother, as you already heard, that her son is sick and needs to be on drugs, how in the world is she to know that that is simply a lie? How is she to recognize that what experts now call attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is simply not a disease? Now, such a mother is not an expert in the history of psychiatry. She does not know that psychiatrists have, for hundreds of years, used diagnostic terms, so-called diagnostic terms, to stigmatize and control people. I will only give you a few dramatic examples. When black slaves in the South ran away to freedom, it wasn't that they wanted to be free. They suffered from a disease called drapetomania, from drapetes, runaway slave and mania. I'm not making this up. This was a legitimate diagnosis, just like attention deficit disorder is. <laughs> Women, half the population of mankind, of course, if they were foolish enough to rebel against domination by men, well, then they had a serious disease called hysteria, which was due to their wandering womb. Now, none of those behaviors was ever a disease, and of course, it's not a disease. But nor is attention deficit disorder a disease. No behavior or misbehavior is a disease or can be a disease. That's not what diseases are. So it doesn't matter how a child behaves. There is nothing to examine. <laughs> if he's sick, then there must be some objective signs to it which can be diagnosed by physicians and objective tests. So they, as soon as you go to a doctor, they take a lot of blood and take x-rays. They don't want to hear how you behave. <laughs> when I went to medical school 60 years ago, there were only a handful of mental diseases. I think there were no more than six or seven. Now there are more than 300. And new ones are, quotes discovered every day. Labeling a child as mentally ill is Stigmatization, not diagnosis. Giving a child a psychiatric drug is poisoning, not treatment. I have long maintained that the child psychiatrist is one of the most dangerous enemies, not only of children, but of adults, of all of us who care to the most precious and most vulnerable things in life. And those